Alright, today I'm giving you a little brain food, uh, just something to noodle on, not really showing you how to do anything. Uh, but if you're like me, and you bought a power head so that, you know, you can just buy different attachments and put it on the front so you don't have to buy a new piece of equipment every single time, uh, you're probably going to want a handlebar on it. And if you're unlike me, uh, the type of power head you buy uh, comes with a handlebar. Uh, the Echo Pass 225 does not sell a handlebar that's worth the shit. This is the one that uh, comes with their brush cutter kit uh, that attaches to the bottom of the existing handle. And as you can see, it's about 8 inches long and about 6 inches too far forward for a regular person to use. I mean, it's okay for, um, it's okay for weed eating. Um... But it, it just doesn't offer any leverage, and it's just too far forward, and it, you can't lock that behind you. you got to hold the whole thing out in front of you, and it's just its not ideal. Uh, and they don't sell proper like brush cutter handlebars uh, for this setup, so uh, I'm bastardizing my own like I like to do with everything. So the heart of this whole kludgy setup is this $10 eBay handlebar adapter um, clamp doohickey that I found and uh, I believe that was eight or nine dollars and it's just uses to just uses allen bolts to clamp onto your pipe and clamp onto the shaft of your brush cutter uh, it's it was a little too big for my brush cutter so I just took a piece of inner tube which I keep here under the desk just sliced off you know a length slightly longer than uh, the clamp, and then split it in half, wrap it around tight, clamp that down, and that is rock solid. Keeps you from accidentally uh, crushing the pipe, too. Uh, and this right here is a piece of, uh, I think it's like 7 eighths or 3 quarter inch pipe, but it's got um, a narrow end on it because it was part of a larger pipe, and it was the piece that fit inside of the other pipe as you can see it's got a little flare there at the end and it was the perfect size so what you're going to want to do is stick that in there and then just honk on these allen bolts until you crack one side and then say eh, that's good enough and leave it and what i did after that is i measured from here out to 12 inches and then i snipped off the end of the pipe with a hacksaw and then i found this uh brass spigot knob uh, in my boxo metal parts down there and uh, it looked about right uh, this was almost the same diameter so I just uh, beat that into the end of it drilled a hole clean through it with an eighth inch bit and then I grabbed a random miscellaneous screw that looked to be fine thread in the correct diameter out of this bin Ran it through there, and then as soon as it seated, uh, the impact gun sheared the head of the screw off. So uh, we're stuck with this, and that's what we're going to have to do. Uh, unless it really screws up, then I'm going to just snip that end off and do something else. And once I did that, this has a square post with a female thread on the top of it. And I went back over to this thing of screws, and I found a nice like two-inch long screw that fit the threads inside of this spigot. Ran that down in there, cut the head off at an angle, and then this is a roller pin handle that I just have an excess of over here in the dowel bucket because I bought four dowel or four rolling pins to try and make cotton gins out of, so I just have these lying around, and uh, I just bored out a five thirty seconds hole through it for the spigot, and then at the end of that I bored an eighth inch hole for the uh, piece of screw I threaded in. And then uh, just got that in there as far as I could by hand and then beat down on it with a hammer until it seated. And then cracked one side. And they said, that looks good. And then I pulled it all back off. And then I went over there in the cabinet, found a tube of epoxy right here that's uh, older than I am. And uh, couldn't get the cap off of one side, so we had to waste uh, all of it on one job. And it's a shame to waste that much epoxy. That stuff ain't cheap, but... Uh, yeah, the, the cap was not coming off the off of the base. So anyway, grabbed a nail out of that bucket, slathered it all on the inside of this handle, slid it down there, drove it home, came back, painted all this around on the threads to make sure it's a nice secure lock, and let this sit overnight. 
and uh, I got a handle and it's a uh, it's rock solid it's pretty good uh, I'm just going to file this epoxy down flat and uh, I'm going to figure out something uh, to wrap that because um, I have little tiny hands so that's actually just about the right size if I was wearing gloves that'd be perfect uh, but I just want to add a little bit of cushion on there so that if I'm not wearing gloves uh, I don't blister my hand and I don't know what I'm gonna do I'm a, I was thinking about taking this shop towel wrap it around there and then just tying it tight with some thread um, I don't have any strips of leather lying around that I could use which would be perfect um, I don't have any canvas either but I bet I can find some so yeah we're gonna we're gonna add a, another quarter to half inch of girth onto that uh, with something soft and uh, grippy and uh, I'm gonna call that good and this is this is on there with not a perfect angle either as you can see it matches the angle of uh, that handlebar down there mostly I'd say it's on I don't know five degrees can it up and uh, it's it's perfect I can hold on to this and I can stick that right behind my butt and you know I got great leverage I can just swing the thing around because the problem with this uh, power head is that you have to keep one hand here you can't put the hand anywhere else because you have to be pressing down the grip safety and you have to be pressing the trigger so you know a typical handlebar it's got two of these and it's offset and you have your throttle on the top of one of the handles and so you're doing that, pitching it around, and you've usually got a third point of contact off of this. But I hate using those because you can't set the thing down. All right, so that's what I've done. It's dirt simple. Uh, didn't cost me uh, anything except for the 10 bucks to buy that adapter. All this other stuff was just garbage I found lying around in the garage. Go on, try it. Uh, or at least use this as a base uh, to make a much better uh, system off of. I would have just bent the pipe up there at the end, but I didn't have a pipe bender set up for three quarter inch pipe, so I didn't do that. Now that's what I'm talking about. And look at this balance. I haven't even adjusted it. Perfectly balanced. That always makes a difference. And I can hook it on my hip. Look at that. Beautiful. Hope this helped. I guarantee it didn't, though. Till next time, Tom out.